Hi there, it's Karen at Corrie Paper Crafts, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Central Scotland. Welcome to this week's Festive Friday project and it's this dinky little gift box here. This is actually the box that I made for my Corrie's Inspirations team postal swap this month. We decided to do a swap and the theme was Christmas but anything goes. So as you know, I'm not a card person so you'll get a 3D project from me if we're doing a swap or if I'm sending a random act of kindness or anything like that. And this is what I made for my team. So I'm not going to show you what's inside it because there is actually a gift in this. I've not posted them off yet. But I did want something that was nice and small and would fit inside a padded envelope and go through the letterbox when it was delivered. So I've used um, Thick Whisper White cardstock for the base and I used the beautiful Snowflake Splendor DSP for the lid. And the bow is made using the matching um, snowflake Splendor ribbon which I think is still on back order but I think you can see with the lights that it's very shimmery and iridescent and just very very pretty. I think it's maybe still on back order but as soon as it's available again I will be stocking up. So I'm going to show you how I made it. I'm thinking although I've not tried it might fit three green and blacks chocolates but I haven't tried that but it would fit um, either one or two small thin chocolate bars or something like that or you could maybe put some individual sweeties in there um, whatever you like but this was made for a specific gift that is inside so um, that's a secret <laughs> so to make the box you're going to need a piece of cardstock now I'm using the Thick Whisper White for my base and it's just a sixteenth of an inch short of seven inches by two inches so it actually ends up measuring six and fifteen sixteenths by one and fifteen sixteenths and in centimetres that's seventeen point two by five and the lid is seven inches by two inches which is seventeen point eight centimetres by five point one so I'm going to show you how I made it. I'm going to grab my scoreboard and apologise for the lighting but I'm filming in the evening and uh, it's dark outside so I'm relying on my lamps um, so I apologise if it's not as easy to see. So we're going to score both of both pieces, the cardstock and the DSP at half an inch on all four sides. So because it's a very small measurement, just take your time as you go around because if you try to do it quickly, especially with the thick Whisper White cardstock, you, you risk jumping the track. So just take your time, there's no rush. And the same with the lid, half an inch on all four sides, just like so. I love this paper and I have stocked up on it so that I can make my chocolate boxes for the kids um, for Christmas um, and I tend to just put lots of different chocolates in them. So we're just going to fold and burnish on all those score lines and just again take your time and make sure that you fold those carefully and neatly. The Thick Whisper White is a little bit more tricky to fold just on that half inch score line, particularly on the long edges. So just make sure that you don't bend or warp that as you go. The DSP is slightly easier to do because it's a lot thinner. But again, just take your time and make sure that those edges all line up so that you're getting a straight fold each time. That's just slightly off but it's not too bad so I'll just straighten that up and then the last side like so. There we are. So we're going to cut into our corners and because it's a really small shallow box I'm not going to bother rotating. I'm just going to cut two corners on each side. So again I'm cutting and keeping the straight edge on the long part of the box and notching into the little squares. The same on this side, just straight edge on the rectangle and notch into the little squares, turn it round and do exactly the same on the other side. Come out, come out, come out, there we are. So remove the score line just onto this little square here like so 
and we're going to do exactly the same on the lid so we'll just do all the cutting now so remove the score line onto the little corner square and notch in at either side there and turn it around in exactly the same on the other side There we are. So this is what you're left with once you've done all your cutting and we're just going to add some tape or some adhesive onto all the corners. So I'm going to get brave again with my Seal Plus and just add a tiny little bit onto all of these corners. It's not so easy to get the rolling action because the tabs are so small that I'm just trying not to tear my cardstock as I go. There we are. And I'm just going to do exactly the same on my designer series paper. Oops. Um, I want to get a bit, just a little bit closer to that fold. Oh, might have overshot that a little bit but I'll sort that just in a second and I want that a bit closer to that fold as well. So I think was it this one that I overshot just a little bit so I'm just going to push that back. There we go. So I'm just going to make sure that I don't have any little bits of adhesive overlapping because these panels are really small and I don't want anything sticking to itself. So straight edge to folded edge to put the box together, no surprises there. Here we are. And I'm just going to give those a little press down with my paper folder just to make sure those corners are well stuck like that. Now because it's so shallow sometimes you get a little bit of gaping here so all I do is just give it a push in and burnish it again along that score line and these will gradually come back out again as well. Now I've added adhesive onto the tabs but what I want to do first of all is just mark the centre point on either side of here for my thumb notches so I'm just going to sorry if this is off camera I just want to make a little pencil mark at three inches on both of these long sides of the lid and that's where I'm going to add my finger notches so if you didn't see that um, on camera I've just made little notches here and again I'm going to use my snowman builder punch just to add those finger notches because we don't have a small circle punch so the snowman is very handy for just the job there we go and then I can put the lid together now so again straight edge to folded edge to pop the lid together it doesn't take long at all to make these you can make them up very quickly there we are and again I'm just going to give this an extra burnish just to make sure those corners are well stuck but it is stamp and seal plus which definitely does the job and again because there's a little bit of gaping particularly on the designer series paper I'm just going to come back in and fold that back down and pop those edges in so they will go together nice and comfortably like so if I didn't still have the side of it pushed in a little bit there we are and that's a nice neat oops nearly nice neat um, fit so that's not going to fall out and then to do my bow what I did was I just did a bunny ears bow like this so made a couple of loops and I just popped this through and turned it into oops 
little bunny ears. It's quite a stiff ribbon, this one. I can't get a hold of that little bow here. And again, you know what it's like trying to do a bow on camera. <laughs> there we are. And try not to, if you can, try not to hold the very ends of your loops as you tie your or tighten your bow because you'll put a fold in your bow and then it won't look quite so quite so pretty so there we are that's probably about right and then just oops trim the tails to how you want them I think I'll just bring that in a little bit I think but I don't want the bow to be loose so just trim that tail a little bit more like so and then with a glue dot I just added that to the top of the box just pop that on there like that and then add it to the middle of the box about there and then I need to do a little bit of stamping <coughs> um, and I did have piece of whisper white cardstock now that's thick cardstock but I had a thinner piece so bear with me until I find it um, here's a scrap piece here and my sentiment was stamped using the very merry out of the itty bitty Christmas cling stamp set and I've already got it mounted on a block which is here and that's a B block that it's on I think yep and I used Misty Moonlight ink which is hiding over here excuse the guinea pigs they can smell the vegetables that we've been chopping for tea tonight and uh, they're asking where theirs are as well so just trying to line that up as straight as possible without um, having my head right over it and the sticker is squint <laughs> there we go and that's that's quite straight so I'm quite pleased with that let's get the ink out of the way and I'm actually going to blot <coughs> that because it's quite a juicy ink pad so I'm just going to block that and hopefully not smudge it as I do just so that I can do it get, do a bit of trimming I have smudged it a little bit but it's not that noticeable <coughs> excuse me I've got a frog in my throat today um, so I'm just going to <coughs> excuse me going to trim that down I'm hoping the edges on this cardstock are actually straight <laughs> and I'll maybe trim this end down a little bit now that I know that it is straight um, trim it down to about there if I could stop moving it about because it wants to stick oh it wants to stick to my hands you know the more you foot it about with something the more complicated it becomes doesn't it <clears throat> and then I'm going to trim this end just a fraction there we are. and trim this end to about there or thereabouts because I want to put a little flag on the end of here I maybe could have left that a little bit longer but it'll do and I'm just going to flag it the easy way by cutting up centre and then just flagging it at the sides like so there we are and then I added a holiday rhinestone just to the top corner there and these are in the main annual catalogue and I'm going to use one of the smallest size in the Night of Navy, this one here. So I'm just going to pop that up there and then I'm going to add a couple of dimensionals to the back. Oops, there we go, both came off together. So one here and one here. There we are.
and then I'm just going to add that round about there near the end of the box and that's my little box made so I hope you like that I hope my team like them as well uh, and the gifts that are inside them so a nice quick easy project and a very pretty box for not a lot of products I'll put a description I'll, I'll put a link to the products that I've used in the description bar below if you like any of the products I've used today and you don't already have a demonstrator there will also be a link to my shop down below as well so thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon take care bye bye